Tommy Tuberville is a whole bunch of things. Tommy Tuberville, the most military person. Nobody's more military than me, says Tommy Tuberville, a man who has not spent an even five seconds in a military uniform. I mean, save maybe a Halloween costume where he's cosplaying like he's in the military. He's ridden his daddy's coattails of patriotism. His dad served. And then subsequently, uh, Tommy Tuberville has lied about his own dad's service. Disgraceful. It's stolen valor by proxy. Very weird. And he is like many Republicans who are cowards, physical cowards, who didn't have the medal to actually serve their country in uniform while claiming to be the greatest patriots the earth has ever known. He's now calling for war. He's saying that this particular election and the, 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 the struggles that Donald Trump faces right now at his own hand, his own criminality, his own consequence, that uh, America needs to wake up, he says. This is war. I'm going to play the clip, and then he goes on a long list of things that Democrats, he alleges, are doing, trying to take away your voting rights. Like, that's not the Republican playbook. But uh, I want you to really pay attention here to, to answer a question for me. Look, Tommy Tuberville, to be sure, is one of the top three stupidest men in the Congress, without a doubt. And, th- and that's saying something, because we've got people like Jim Jordan and, and Louis Gohmert, and, and there's, there's a bunch of dunces in there. But is he aware of what he's doing with his rhetoric, the, the violent rhetoric, the war talk, or is he just kind of repeating a script because he's such a dumb shit? I, re- I really, I-, I would like to know what other people think because I think he's just stupid. He's, he's like a male version of, of uh, I almost said Tommy Lahren. It kind of fits, but Lauren Boebert. He, he, it's kind of like that. It's just a parrot repeating jingoistic language. Watch this. You tell me what you think, and then we'll address some of his other claims. Ask you about this plan from some GOP lawmakers in the Senate, sending a message to President Biden, but linking it back to that Trump verdict in New York. How do you make that connection? Well, first of all, it's not just sending a message to the Democrats and to Joe Biden. It's also sending a message to our Republican colleagues, the people in our caucus that, you know, to me, they're not really taking this as serious as we should. You know, the, the American, American people need to rake, wake up. You know, this is a war. This is a war on our constitutional rights, our constitutional republic. You know, this is not as much about Donald Trump as it's about the people in this country. You know, I don't call us Republicans or Democrats anymore. You're either for our great country, the way it's been for the last 248 years, mm-hmm. or you're anti. You want to change it to how you want it to be. So basically, at the end of the day, uh, these Democrats are trying to they're taking away our rights, our health care rights, our gun rights, uh, our privacy rights. They want to censor everything that we do. They want to take away your money. They want to take away your voting rights. Folks, this is not going to stop. So we're trying to get something over to our, even our Republican colleagues said, this can't go any longer. We have to stop this train from going down the track. If we don't, we will lose in November uh, this coming year. Uh, this is not over. The Democrats are not finished with this. They will continue to pound this every day and they're going to try to push us off the cliff, this country that we grew up in and that we very well know. What would you know about war? Tommy Tuberville, football coach Tommy Tuberville. What would you know about service in the United States military? Look, I'm no Clausewitz. I was enlisted in the Marine Corps. But I'm far more militaristic than Tommy Tuberville. Let's let's talk about some of these other things. First of all, he says, Democrats, Democrats, Democrats this, Democrats, Democrats, Democrats that, and then says, well, I don't even say Democrat or Republican. I say you love America, you're a patriot. And then goes on to continue to say Democrat, Democrat, Democrat. Either you don't say Democrat or Republican, or you do, because you clearly do, Tommy. Now, as far as these other things that he says that Democrats are going to try to do, take away our rights. He is claiming Democrats are taking away 
his health care rights while Democrats open up the options for health care in this country. They, they give you more choice, more rights, if you will, as far as health care is concerned. But according to Tommy Tuberville, genius extraordinaire, it's Democrats who are taking away health care rights. Republicans want to take away a woman's right to reproductive health care, strip it away, but apparently that's taking away rights. Huh. Take away our gun rights. I would challenge Tommy Tuberville to give one list, just one list, one item that Democrats have done to take away their gun rights. We have the Second Amendment of the Constitution that is in full effect. What have Democrats done to, to violate those rights? They never say. It's always just fear-mongering. Our privacy rights. Interesting, given that the uh, Roe v. Wade verdict was predicated upon a right to privacy, an inherent right to privacy that Republicans just stripped away, 50 years of precedent. But, but it's Democrats who want to violate, take away your privacy rights. Great. Uh, they want to censor everything. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that, than a Republican saying that Democrats want to censor everything. The party that's banning books wholesale in the state of Florida and disparate states all across the union. They're in my home state. Don't live there anymore, but my home state, of Idaho, there's, there's big controversy over defunding libraries, banning books in libraries. They, come on. It's laughable. It's hilarious that this dumb shit is making the accusation that Democrats are doing the thing that is in the headlines every single day about Republicans doing. They want to take away your money. Donald Trump put through tax cuts that sunset, the, the tax cuts sunset for the middle class and then just lived on in perpetuity for the rich. So if you right now are facing a tax increase, many people who are unaware of how politics and, and, and these bills work, they would think that Joe Biden is responsible for that. It's Donald Trump. He could have made those tax cuts for the middle class permanent. He did not. He did not. It's Donald Trump's tax policy that is taking money from the middle class. It is Donald Trump's tax policy that is giving wild, unsubstantiated, unjustified and unrecoverable tax cuts to the uber wealthy in this country. We're talking about people who make millions of dollars a year. Giving them, giving them the store. And then finally, the maybe the most laughable of them all, and I just went in order that he said them, they want to take away your voting rights. Democrats want to take away the voting rights of Americans while Republicans suppress the black vote, they suppress the youth vote, they close polling stations en masse so it's more difficult to vote. They put in draconian, insane rules in Georgia where even giving someone a bottle of water if they're standing in line to vote for hours in the hot sun is criminal. But it's Democrats who are doing that. Again, the question, I pose, I would, I would love someone to answer. Is he just stupid or does he know and he's just playing a dumb guy? It's often said that uh, John Kennedy, the senator from Louisiana, is just playing the rube. I say, I say, I say. He's just one of those types, but he's actually pretty smart. Is this what's happening? I, maybe he's doing such a good job, Tommy Tuberville, that I'm, I'm bamboozled. Maybe he's really a smart guy and I'm just too stupid to understand the long game here. Maybe. <laughs> Anything's possible. What do you think? You can leave a comment below. You can also call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me. This is war. Uh, daily at dollamore.com. If you want to help support this work, if you appreciate what I do and you want to take part helping me make these videos for $2 a month, you can click the join button below, become a channel member. You can go over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Those are great ways to help support. Um, follow me on social media. If you're already there, don't go signing up. That's 
I would never inflict that kind of punishment on somebody. But if you're already there, let's suffer together. I'm at Dollamore everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, threads, blah, blah, blah. I'd love to see you. Uh, be genuine. Take care of one another.